Hello all, this is Isra Khan um, and today I will be talking about how I was able to crack NEET MBF exam of 2024 with a decent rank of 222. Before starting with this video, I want to make it very clear that this is not a boasting video. This is not me exaggerating that I got such a good rank in my first attempt. This video is only for the purpose of uh, motivating the viewers, motivating all the interns out there that yes, you can crack it in your internship attempt. I have made this channel for all the NEET aspirants, be it PG, be it UG, be it MDS, anything, any motivation is good motivation. Also, when I was an intern, I always looked up to these kind of, you know, interviews, motivational talks by toppers, series interviews and I used to get very motivated by being on the YouTube channel and watching these videos. So, uh, I've got the opportunity to do the same for you all. So, here is a little video of how I did it in my one year of internship. Uh, so, talking about my journey, uh, it consisted of three parts. Yes, I prepared myself in three parts. The first and the major chunk was an internship. Like um, the 12 months of internship, I gave my best shot. In internship, it was very critical for me to study. Like I was in council, I was a uh, literary head. I had a lot of work. When I say a lot, it was a lot. Like it, at one point, my mental health was literally suffering because of the work that I had in college. Uh, and if you are someone from MGM watching this video, you would probably know what kind of um, extracurricular activities MGM has. And as interns, we had to literally do every event, every month, every you know script, every editing, every newsletter. It was very fun and very new to me. And you know, whenever things come to you, be ready to submit it to yourself, be ready to give your best shot because as, as an intern one thing i would like to tell you is opportunities won't come like this again internship is something you should go out there and explore the side you haven't explored it yet like four years you are always into the book studying and one year i had i had gotten which i uh, you know i had this creativity inside of me which i fulfilled which i uh, gave it to the college back which I always wanted to do and uh, I never regret working so hard for college because I liked it I enjoyed it it was also very stressful I must say and you know whenever you get a lot of pressure you tend I especially tend to perform better so I always had in mind like I had 10 things of college but I also had to do five things of myself five things of studies so I had a good balance between the two like after coming home there was no social life I must say in my internship I had just one college thing which was my everything like I enjoyed social events I enjoyed with my friends in college outside college I was just there in my, at my home studying because I know I had to compensate something for studies and I had compensated my social life outside of college. Like I did not travel anywhere. I did not travel a lot with my friends outside of college. It was only me and my books at home. And of course, two, one to two hours was given to my college stuff, editing and everything. Yes, I had that much of uh, workload, but I enjoyed it. If you are a creative person and, and if you want to, um, you know, give it out there, then you must do that in internship and do a lot of patients, explore the unexplored side of dentistry because uh, as an intern, you will be given a lot of opportunities and so do not let studies be so much that you miss enjoying your internship days. Let your college life be a college life and enjoy the process enjoy with your friends in college after college please compensate that with studying like how i did um, and also i had shown this before the planner and everything how i used to plan and everything and be self-motivated every day like uh, there's a lot of things that i have done to make sure that i was on track every monthly goal and everything like in august i had all the dental material things last year in august if you can see 
gypsum products cds lecture fpds and everything like uh, every month section it and just make sure that you do things like you check out tick tick out your check boxes or whatever and pulse should be your best friend like pulse is the main thing that you should complete beforehand now let's talk about the second phase of my preparation the second phase was post graduation post convocation post every fun thing that college provided us like i would tell you i don't know if you are relatable to it because after college there is always going to be this void i had very big void after my college got over i like felt so like it's done it's over like college life is done and you are alone now you are on your own like phase was very difficult for me to overcome because at that time you know all your friends are disappeared the college life is gone now you are on your own so you have to make sh- you have to make sure that you are accountable you have got this 24 hours to yourself and you have to study very hard so october was graduation so november december these two months i had i gave my best i isolated myself from the world and i gave my best i was just at home preparing myself it was a these two months were very mentally challenging for me these two months only studying wake up study wake up study and uh, alhamdulillah I, i completed my syllabus by december of 2023 i have completed everything like some subjects were remaining like general medicine was remaining pharmacology was remaining because that one subject it doesn't get over very easily general surgery some parts of general surgery were remaining but in majority i have completed my pulse once most probably some subjects thrice have completed by december and after the december it was january january was very different year different month for me now this comes to the third phase and this phase i don't think anybody any of the toppers would have this phase in their life this phase was my clinical phase yes i have joined clinics 3 months before 2 months before 1 month before my exam i was into clinics um so january started and there was this very bad news of postponement that came that neat pg was postponed neat you need mds was still a question mark and it was about to get postponed like all of us were confused and i literally was like i have given two months of my preparation very at home studying and i cannot study any more like you all know all those many of you can relate who are studying since one year like giving my best for this one exam and it get postponed and you cannot see anything about you they are not giving us any dates they are not giving us any information about to when is to when is the exam going to happen and there was this uh, news that neat pg was postponed to july it was actually postponed to july and I, we all of us interns thought that ki chalo apna bhi ho jayega july mein so i was in that uh, zone ki abhi july mein let, let us chill let us take a step back and let us live life because one year i was after this exam and when this exam got postponed i had lost my cool i was like bas abhi something different so january first week of january i you know started making my cv i started uh, building my resume um did a lot of research and applied to various clinics and i got the one week i got this job as an associate dentist in a very good jci accredited hospital which alhamdulillah was like my dream job so i was like i can do it till july i can manage both these things so i prepared for the interview i you know started uh, watching a lot of youtube videos doing a lot of pre clinical thing before going into uh, proper clinical dentistry because it was two months since my last internship posting so i started gaining a lot of experience here and there and i started my clinical job and it was almost january i did not touch any books i was more into clinical dentistry which eventually helped me it was not it was not a loss it helped me and it made me a very um, 
confident person myself and by the end of january month this news of neat mds came that it is going to be held on march 18th i stood there for 5 minutes i was like i have given myself commitment towards this hospital i am working as an associate dentist i cannot give up this job because you know how difficult it is to get jobs in dentistry to get good paying jobs in dentistry and i was like i cannot give up this and i'm not supposed to give up this because i have signed a contract and at back of my mind i was like i have done my syllabus also i have given my full attempt i have given my full focus in internship i started betting on myself ki if ra i can do it i can do it let us not let us let just let's just not overthink the situation there's one month left you have to give your best shot along with managing your clinical job this was the biggest pressure moment in my life ever the month of february to me was like i was on the volcano it was i was on the peak of this volcano which was erupt which is which was going to erupt soon like i was the volcano and the lava inside me was burning so badly i was like what i'm doing what i'm doing and this gave me a lot of push ki it's a do or die situation is yes, when you are going when you are going out there doing patients doing your full time 9 to 5 job and you have an entrance to a crack in one month you don't have any time to overthink you don't have any time to think ki kya galat ho sakta hai for me i was like i stopped overthinking i was like karna hai karna hai and i studied like crazy when the entire india was studying at home 24 hours for this one month for this one neat mbs exam which was supposed to be held on march 18 and there was this me working as a 9 to 5 job with 3 hours of travel and getting few hours at the end of the day for myself to study this was my situation one month before the exam and i couldn't even complain because ye maine khud decision liya tha to join as an associate dentist ye sab mera life aapko kabhi kabhi situations mein dalte hain taki aap ko you know life i feel life will put you into such situations where you have to face it you cannot run away you cannot give up and sit at home and be like uh, i'll do this you, because you don't know how well you will do it sitting at home because i feel uh, that job had given me a lot of push to pursue my passion it had given it had opened my eyes towards clinical dentistry it showed me that yes mbs is important i cannot be i cannot always be an associate dentist i have to be more than that so it gave me a secondary push and you know i was always on the toes there like after every patient i used to open my books and study in train i used to study like proper i was crazily studying and made a lot of time table my mock exam scores were also decent like it was not great but it were decent and i will do it i will be able to do it and i cannot i have no i have no time for overthinking of pressure in the moment of um, dedication and being passionate about dentistry being able to perform root canals extractions fpds being able to treat patients as well as being able to study i managed it and um i gave my best shot and 18 like one week before the exam i took holiday like one week proper one week before the exam i took this one week of holiday i asked the management to please give me at least one week because i have to crack this exam and in that one week i was i went crazy week when 12 13 hours i used to study crazily one week before the exam because i knew ye time wapas nahi aayega ye moment wapas nahi aayega ye chance wapas aapko nahi milne wala hai aapko jab time milta hai i realized the importance of time i realized the importance of one one second when i was doing that job and it made me realize ki overthinking ka time nahi hai bas crack karna hai and i used to listen to a lot of motivational songs motivational podcasts motivational 
series which helped me in and out and there was just no time to overthink and I gave my best shot and Alhamdulillah I was able to crack it with a uh, marks 634 marks out of 960 634 marks and an all India rank of 222 the moment I saw my results it was the best one of the best moments of my life and you get the satisfaction you get the pleasure of seeing that results because of your hard work and because of prayers because of support of your parents and teachers and because of the belief that there are people around you who are always going to support you who are always going to be sure that if not you are going to do it like i had people telling me parle patient do kar parle patient do kar parle do not give up do not give up just do it i know you are in a very critical state right now you are managing a lot of things and you have no option to give up you have chose this path for yourself and i was very adamant that i will crack it and that angry february and march month will always be very special to me because at that at those three months i had given the best in me i had given the maximum that i can and i was working the hardest to crack the same exam so the end message to all of you who are studying at home who are interns who are not going out who are not going to clinics and making sure that you are giving 24 hours to this exam it's just your mindset it's just your mind here that you have to and you will be able to do it once you realize the power of your mind everything is in your hands every every thing is in your hands like just do your best and forget the rest and results is in god's hand and he will give you the best just do your maximum with a lot of dedication a lot of passion and be open to changes be open to um, push yourself off the limits that is my key thing and thank you so much for listening uh, bye